Good morning, girls and boys. It's bright and early. It's six, almost 6.40 in the morning, 6.38. I'm up already. I, uh, well, Richard got out of bed really early. He got up at quarter after four, and I couldn't go to sleep after that anymore. So after a while, I thought, you know what? I'm just going to get up, get lots of stuff done today. But I did pour myself coffee, a really nice big one. <laughs> this is one of my biggest mugs. I thought a nice big coffee would be very delicious this morning. Looks like it's going to be nice weather today. They said it was maybe going to rain today, but every time the rain gets pushed out of the forecast, and I seeded my garden yesterday got everything in there except for the potatoes and I'll put some tomato plants in there later on. So just waiting for the water to turn on. Tomorrow we'll get our water and then it's time to start growing a garden. I'm excited. Our devotion for today is called Resting and it's still about God's house. So let's read. In the Psalms, there often is the word sila at the end of a verse. Do you know what that word almost always means? It means resting. In one place, it means repeat the verse just some. So say it again. This word is very important and actually quite beautiful because it gives a feeling of peace. Sila, rest, is a true resting in, in God for Jesus' sake. No, it's not a continual rest, because the poet, the person who wrote the psalm, the poem, continues to sing. Although, in a higher tune, his heart is full of the Lord, full of his love and grace. He beholds the Lord Jesus, the anointed of God the Father. No, he doesn't need an important place in the temple. Even if he only goes just in the beginning, just through the door, he is in the temple. Inside, he hears the gospel, the message of sin and of grace. There the Lord speaks to his heart. Then he, he then has courage to continue, because the Lord is his shield. The Lord knows what the poet of Psalm 84 needed every day. The Lord also knows what you need. He especially knows that you need a new heart. True rest is possible only if you receive a new heart. Our devotion for today. So the one for tomorrow, it's all about Proverbs. And the next couple ones after that are about Proverbs. So we know there's the Bible book of Proverbs. And there's all sayings in there from Solomon. So we're going to start reading and learning about Solomon and some of his Proverbs. Well, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Keep working hard. I'm seeing some amazing work from all of you. So keep that up. And I wish you all a wonderful rest of the week. And I'll see you tomorrow morning again. Have a good day. Bye.